All right, so this is um, just a little bit of clarification. I've had a lot of people ask me about um, just how this thing works. It's hard to follow uh, schematic sometimes and stuff. So this is just a, a version of the schematic that's really simplified, just to kind of explain how it all works and how it all goes together. Um, okay, so first of all, these are these will represent um, potentiometers or or little knobs, you know, that control something more or less. Uh, this represents a little amplifier unit that I'll show you uh, that you buy for 89 cents, and this represents the cassette player, cassette recorder player. Um, I just kind of whipped this together. It's not pretty, but just to kind of give you an idea what's going on. So first things first, the the signal from the instrument will come in here, and um, it can be bypassed right here. That's what this means by this it goes right back out. So like if we're in a effects chain and we don't want to have this running right now and we just want it to go straight out to the output, we'll have a we'll have it go out there through a switch right here and then we'll switch that on or off for the, it's called the true bypass. Okay, then the signal comes through here and goes up to the record head of this cassette player. It gets recorded, okay? And then as the tape goes through, it plays back through this system. Where did this come from? This is the one we add in. We're adding in a little bit, a, a, a small cassette, what's called a head. And it's gonna, the tape is gonna go past that and we're gonna pick up that signal here and then it will go out here to be controlled by a knob, how loud that is. And then here's our master volume knob for the whole thing it will be right here. Okay, so then Real quick, there's this feedback. What's feedback? It's uh, the cycle of uh, the signal being amplified and sent right back to the record head right here. So that will control, this knob here will control um, how, uh, how, loud that, uh, how loud that feedback is. And what that sounds like is the, you have the sound and then an echo, right? So if this is all the way down, that's all you hear. Sound that you play, and then an echo. And then that's it. Or you could turn this one up and go sound, echo, 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 echo. So that's how you get that kind of train, you know, the, the diminishing sound of the echoes uh, going. And so you can have that, and then, this system will work where if you turn it up all the way, it'll it will um, oscillate. So you have it's hard to describe what that sounds like, but it's like the sound echo, 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 echo. It gets louder and louder, 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 louder until it's just out of control, and it sounds really cool if, in the right circumstances. So that's that control. Um, right back over here, we have a control for what's called the dry signal. So that signal goes also this way and it goes to the end so that we can mix in how loud the original sound is so if we didn't have that all we'd hear is the echo so we want to hear the sound echo and then feedback echo 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 as much as we want that's it really that's that's the the simplified version of everything that's um done here and then this is just the output so anyway, uh, that's that, and then I'll explain the uh, the main schematic here, which will be, let's see, how do I get to that again? So here's my main schematic. Let's see, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not very techy with this kind of stuff, recording the screen and all that, but it's just my phone looking at my computer. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. So signal comes in, and then you'll see this means ground right here, this little thing here. So it has everything has to have a, a power and a ground, you know, basically, or a signal and a ground. So this the signal comes in here, this is the jack, and then remember immediately gets sent out to the end as a bypass if we want that. Oh boy.
with a switch that's up here now. This switch also doubles as the power switch. So we need to up supply, uh, you know, nine volts to this. And so, uh, and I also have this set up so that um, it will run just on a regular um, uh, power from like a nine volt battery or from a from a, like a, a, a pedal board, you know, guitar pedal board. But this little amp is all all that we're using the power for. The cassette player itself has its own AA batteries, so then this will have anywhere from I think nine to even twelve volts. So it's you know you just have to use whatever power you need. But it's it's easy for me to just have nine volt. Then I can just plug it right into where my other guitar pedals are. Okay, so the input goes to that bypass, but when it gets clicked on. The signal goes this way, and it goes to, um, remember, it goes right to the cassette, or it goes to the end again to get mixed in right here. And then this loops around to go out. So this is just kind of slightly more complicated, you know, uh, version of what that simplified schematic was that I just showed you. but. Um, this has the actual capacitors and, and resistors and potentiometers in there so that you know how to do it. So this represents a potentiometer, and that's just one of the knobs I was talking about. So the input goes straight to the cassette. And then remember the feedback here. Um, oh, here's a speed control, by the way. The cassette will have its own knob that's just connected to the cassette player. And we'll make it pretty so that you don't know that that's what that is. It's just it's just kind of sneaking through underneath the the box or whatever we put this in and and lining up with all the other knobs that we have, and then um, it'll look nice. Anyway, that's what that one is the speed control for how fast you want the cassette player to be recording and playing back. The feedback signal then gets sent back here after it's picked up here, after it gets amplified. Okay, so the cassette in here, like that. The dry signal. Let's see, wait, people, <laughs> jeez. Dry signal comes here, from here. Okay, so the wet signal now gets picked up by this added in playhead, and that's what this means, echo, so that the echo will come and go into this little 89 cent amplifier that we're gonna buy, and then it gets amplified and sent to this controller, which we call the wet volume, and that's that very first echo that you hear, and that goes out, and the amplified echo goes to the feedback control in this this is a loop here that just keeps looping back into the record head right here. So you have, uh, let's see, the sounds that we'll hear now are dry signal. Then we'll hear echo. Then we'll hear echo, 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 right? You know, as it fades away. So right now we can have original sound. We can have, uh, then controlled with this one, we have original sound, original sound and echo. We can turn that all the way down just to, just to turn that up. Original sound, echo, and then feedback. Echo, 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 after that. And that's, these are just totally controlled, you know, all the way down to nothing. Or this one you can turn up and just get it going absolutely crazy with its self oscillation. It sounds really cool. We'll do it in like like listen to dub reggae. Oh man, my phone went a little kapakahi. Okay. So uh all the other things I didn't talk about is just like power. You know, here's the here's the nine volt power that goes into this switch and it powers the device here, the amp, and that's it. But then it, this is like a two-piece two switch. So it does that, it gives power to everything, or it tells it to, uh, it tells the signal to just go straight out 
in that true bypass that we talked about the first thing we talked about or the signal will then get um sent out the the, the whole big amplified nice um, echo signal and everything the final signal we want it to go to will be controlled by this volume knob here so anyway that's that um i <laughs> i apologize for not uh making this sooner and everything it's just this is a, this is a little bit simplified from how i had it before and so um hopefully this will th this will make it uh just a little bit cleaner um unfortunately we have one two three four five knobs that we'll have to hide somewhere you know or or display on our little um on the box that we're going to make for this or whatever, you know? So anyway, I'm working on the other video for, um, showing how to put this all together. So, all right. Cheers guys. Take care.